A critical time when you're coping with cancer is about going out, how comfortable you feel, your image, the reaction of others. One of the underlying questions there is, do you think there's a still an attitude or a stigma in society which sometimes can be unhelpful? Yes, definitely. Because people are so scared of cancer and don't know how to deal with it themselves, um, it's like some people can't even say the word. They mm. have to give it a name instead yeah. of saying cancer, as if, um, like in Beetlejuice, saying it three times, you're going to get it. And that's almost how people feel. Um, so I think they feel uncomfortable around people who've got cancer because they don't know what to talk to them about, how to be with them. They think they've got to be different with them for some reason. Um, so I didn't want to do anything that said without a doubt that is what I'd got. Mm. Um, so rather than wearing light bandanas and that, I've always had quirky hats and I've had my wigs and anything that's a bit daft. So the first thought of somebody looking at me isn't how she got cancer, it's is she crazy? <laughs> <laughs> um, and I do think it's the adults that struggle with it. Yes. Children yeah. don't struggle with it the same. The children aren't scared to ask you the questions. Um, and I know when I was first diagnosed, and my friend's little boy, Callister, um, and he said to me, cancer really doesn't know what it's been doing getting you, does it? Because you can be quite nasty. And that, that's just lovely. That's just saying it how it is. But adults can't say that. They <laughs> struggle with it. Yeah. That's, that's a very touching little story there. And what did that mean longer term then for going back into society, not just at work, but going out in general? You know, if you're wearing a wig, do you eventually get comfortable wearing a wig with that image? Do people accept that, you know, in terms of their reactions? In people knowing whether they're wearing a wig? Well, yeah, in a way. Do they right. notice a change in you? You know, sometimes people notice a change, like a change in hair, change in colour, as much as about you, you know, internally. They're not really monitoring that, if you know what I mean. Because I went into this small bubble, there were only the immediate people who knew what was wrong with me who saw me for those few months. So... When there was a change in my hair afterwards, I've always changed my hairstyle. One minute it'll be long and blonde, mm. and the next minute it'll be short and black. So for me to come out with a totally different hairstyle didn't actually phase people because that's the sort of thing I do. So I was quite lucky with that, that I spent several months only with the people who were close to me. So they went... I stepped out into the outside world. They accepted the change. Um, the hats I used because I've got two dogs, so I had to go out and walk my dogs. Um, so the hats, people would think I've got my hair tucked up inside my hat. They weren't aware that I hadn't got hair at that point.